Welcome back to the Barnetown Five Star UKCB Radio. You notice a switch missing there, which is the Channel Nine switch. I do have some new ones in stock. They're in a different workshop, and I'll I'll put one in later. So this is a radio that's coming off eBay. Unfortunately, it's been one of these which has had an illegal modification to make it do with 80 channels instead of 40. Um, someone's added the CPT band on, so I've had to take all that rubbish out um, to make it back to a, a UK legal one. So, um, we're going to go on the receive, and I have had a sneak preview, and it is receiving. Now, where are we? Yep, that's on. For we're listening to three microvolts. So that's pretty good going for a start, because I know it's going to have been messed about with because of what's happened to it. So we'll just go through the receive alignment procedure. And what we're looking at is transformer 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. That's 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So just look at those on the, on the layout. So what have we got? Yeah. Five, seven, eight, five, seven, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five, seven. So we'll start with five. We're looking at this with a sign ad meter. Five, seven, eight, Ten and eleven. Eleven is just under the wiring there, it's it's hiding from us. What I'm now gonna do is just set the uh, detector. So what I've done is to put an S9, that's hundred microvolt signal, onto the signal generator. And using number 12, T12, which is just by the mic socket there, we're going to adjust that for maximum. And we're looking at an oscilloscope, which is connected right across the speaker. So that's maximum. I have gained something there, so it was slightly out. So we'll now go, now go back and just see if we can touch up the sensitivity a bit more. It's actually working very well. That's 0.3 of a microvolt we're listening to. These can vary. The Savonet 134 strategy, you can do one and you don't get better than 0.9 microvolts. The next one is as good as this. So we're going to go through those again. Five. Tell you what, we've gained some more, haven't we? Turn down the attenuator. Try and turn it down some more. We're now at 0.25. Just turn it anyways to 0.2. Turn it down to 0.25.
Well, I think that's it. I mean, we can't complain at that, can we? So it's, that's 0 0.2. Let's turn it down more. 0 0.5. 0 0.1 we can't hear. It starts to come in at about 0. Point, that's incredible sensitivity. Yeah. I didn't check. We got the RF gain at full, but we had. So that was, <laughs> it's always something to check. Now what we need to do is to make sure that we've got S9 reading on the meter when the radio is receiving 100 microvolts. Um, what we've got, so again we've got this bulb out still, is we've got it pegging the needle. So it's RV3, and RV3 is the one next to coil 11 in this corner. So we're just going to adjust that. I'll try and get it so you can see it as well. And there we have it, S9. You see that? I'll turn the signal generator down so you can hopefully see it move. And back to S9. Now we need to check the squelch. So I'm going to turn the signal generator off. Set the squelch to the threshold. Switch the signal generator back on. We'll see at what point the signal generator comes in. Well, that's a bit harsh. It's coming in just at three. I'm just going to drop that off a fraction. And it's the adjustment RV1. So we'll just try again. We'll, set, we'll switch the signal generator off, set threshold, generate it back on. It's coming in at one microvolt, which is excellent. Now I'm going to set this squelch to full and see when it comes in. That's 30 microvolts. We want it a bit more strong than that. It's about S5 would be the maximum you could squelch out. So we'll just adjust that a bit. All trial and error. So, signal generator offsets the threshold. There we go. Generator on. It's coming in at one microvolt. Squelch on the radio to full. Still coming in at, at uh, 30 microvolts. Want it stronger than that. Turn it up a bit more. Generator off. Set threshold on the radio. Generator on. Signal generators are not really coming in till three. Turning up the full, uh, the squelch to full on the radio, and it's coming in again about um, thirty microvolts. Well, that's the best compromise between it, it going to be potentially chopping and uh, being as weak as water. So that's it. We're all set up. The squelch, as I say, is RV one. And it's a matter of the generator testing it with the radio back to the generator to try and get that setting right so we don't want it so um, squelch so strong that a signal of uh, any proportion would never open it so that is everything it now, now needs one or two things sorting out we're going to do an air on the range test very shortly actually and I might have to do the on the air test with it still in bits um, Mr Chippy who's here at the moment um, is already out at the next village, uh, next town of Sleaford, which is seven miles away, and he's going to call me on the way back from doing some shopping. It's it's Sunday about uh, half past three, and he just needed to go and get something, so um, he'll call me on the way back. So I'm going to start gluing this back together. Uh, we've got one knob. What I have done in the past is to buy off eBay a box of of knobs somewhere. Somebody was selling some XCB knobs, and I did buy that lot wherever I put them, and it does help us to um, try and put some of these sets back together. So right, um, thanks for watching that, and that's resurrected a Binosome Five Star, which is a jolly good set, and I really like the. It's the only set I'm aware of which has an internal external switch on it, and that's what what's there. 
So there you go, Bandit Zone 5 star using the Cybernet 134 chassis. And I think this is one of the most underappreciated of the Cybernet 134s. You've got Rotels that will sell for 85 quid, and you've got Bandit Zone 5 stars that are lucky to get 25. Right, thank you for watching.